All right, here we are again, boys. Look at this tutorial stage. It looks fantastic. Although I, I do I do miss, you know, floating around through space, but at least, you know, this gives you kind of some direction where to go. Hey, there's space. There it is. Okay, so WASD to move. Okay. All right. Let's go to the um, energy tutorial. All right. Okay, right mouse button to aim. Left mouse button to fire. All right. Easy enough. Press R and then the right mouse button to recover energy and health. Beautiful. It was press 2 to change the loadout. Gotcha. Can do. And you can see how it changes to number 2. <laughs> at the at the bottom left, you know, you can see you can as you scroll through the different um keys, you you know which button your loadout is. So right mouse button to aim, left mouse to fire. Okay, press R and then right mouse button to recover energy and health. Man, this this is way better so far. Oh my gosh. Press F to enter zoom. Oh, what? Aim towards Ruby and Sapphire to see energy benefits. Fury, right? Plus three to Fury. Oh my God. This is so, <laughs> this is so good. Okay, press three to change loadout to three. Gotcha. Aim and fire the absorb beam at Ruby and Sapphire. And um, if you, if you, like press tab really quick if and then you can go to skills and, and you can that's how you can see all of your different different abilities here um, here's loadout one two and three obviously and if you left click on one of these um, sections here you can swap them out as you see fit just just if you didn't know for your information so once again if you hold down f you can zoom on these materials and you can see what they're about that's awesome all right here we go absorption beam i like it on three and you can see once we collect this um our manish our max mana uh increases and here our max how do, does fury is fury the one that gives us health now max health Oh, okay. To see your energy absorption, open the tab menu and select energy. So yeah, this should should be different. Um, okay, well, it looks the same. Um, stat details? That's new. Ah. Vitality increases your health meter. Energy increases energy meter. Strength increases melee damage and health restored on attacks. Um... Spirit increases spirit-based attacks and health recharge rate. Oh, cool. Nice. Fury increases, increases fury-based attack and energy recharge rate. Dexterity increases dex-based skills and attack speed. And then arcane increases beam-type skills and energy restored on attacks. Very, very, very nice. Okay. Well, we did that. Select stat details in the energy to see how each stat improves your warrior i like it you can find many things to absorb in the world to improve your warrior sweet tutorial one finished press one to change loadout i'm just going to follow everything mvr tells me to do Alrighty, melee tutorial. Middle mouse button to lock onto enemies. Okay, cool. I like how there's a little um, indicator right on the nutsack of that thing, letting me know that that's where I'm looking. Okay, G to, to G plus any direction will allow you to dash. Left mouse repeatedly for a combo attack.
already the um melee combat feels good like whatever you did mvr like this it feels really good g at the end of the combo to dash Wait, what? I thought I thought that the end of the combo would push would have pushed them back. Ooh, okay, we did it. You can follow up with the combo dash by rapidly pressing the melee button. Okay, so let's push him back, finish the combo, right? And I can just keep going. <laughs> okay, so let's finish up the combo to shoot him into the air. Five hits. Not really sure. Oh, melee to hold for a charged attack. Okay. So that's what we were doing wrong. So let's get in like three, four, one, two, three. Oh, okay. Never mind. Maybe two hits and then I can do the charged attack. You can also follow this up with a combat dash, which would be the G ability, right? You may also choose to end your dash combo with an energy attack. So I can... Oops, I, I screwed that up. Ah, dang! <laughs> uh, but I think I get it. Uh, middle mouse button to unlock at, onto enemies. I think I understand it at that point. Middle mouse... Oh, we can... Yeah, cool, cool, cool. So... Uh... We gotta get this. I gotta finish with a blast. Or I can or I can just start up with a dash. Um very cool, very cool. It feels feels pretty good. I feel like at this point I, I should play probably play with a controller though. Oops, ah, we almost had it. But yeah, we 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 knocked him into the air, we charged in, dashed, knocked him to the ground, and then after that I want to do a um, finisher ability. Ah! We'll get it though. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, pretty nice. Cool. All right, well done, well done. Yeah, the combat seems a bit more fluid. At least the melee, the melee does. It looks better. It, it looks looks less. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it, it just seems to flow better, and it's more responsive um, to my to my. I don't have to spam left mouse click. It, it seems like there's a bit more timing involved, and, and I like that. Okay, shift to toggle sprinting. Mm-hmm. Space bar um, for the double jump. G to dash. Left control to crouch. Oops. Jumping while crouching allows the super jump like so. Crouch. Sprinting. Press crouches to slide. What about the... Oh, it looks like I don't gain gain air anymore when, when I super jump and charge uh, my... my blast ability okay because before you'd be able to like have a, f a floating kind of effect um okay so that's that all right free chest um skills let's see we've got fury volley fury volley and we get rapid blast here let's have two Fury Volley, and then Rapid Volley here, I believe. So this one allows us to hold down the right mouse button to fight. Train your skills. Step on the podium to spawn a spawning partner. 
Okay, hold middle mouse button down. I mean, who needs to... Whoa. Oh, that's so cool how... How, how the hits are homing now. I don't, I don't know if that was actually how it worked in, in the first game, you know, where you can lock on. Well, also, also there wasn't an indicator showing you that you were locked onto your opponent. It was kind of more, it was just very buggy. Um, but, um, okay. Oof. So I'd have to... Um, yeah, I mean, wow, this is like such a huge imp improvement already to what we have already experienced. So, wow, incredible. What the heck? How did you... Wow, how did you do it, MVR? Holy crap. Okay. Let's figure this out though what we got um ooh lorica plates butcher hood and this is just the tutorial though i wish i could like load out with all this stuff uh, is it going to teach us like how to equip stuff um or do we get to keep this uh, i guess we'll find out um i wonder if this stuff looks better hmm. i feel like this is the gear that um the witch would give you the full set of gear the witch would give the would would give you for her completing her quest I, I that's what i would have imagined um all right cool enter the fourth dimension all right very cool guys press forward to fly oh shift to taco fast fly what a what a what an awesome tutorial oh my god <laughs> way better and we're out in space. Cool. I, I did miss the whole being able to look at the stars and the, the cosmos. Whoops. So while flying, um, hold down R and then press like the right trigger button to um, charge your mana midair. Whoops. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. Whoops. Whoa. Cool. It looks like my... My, my projectile, like, changed its flight path. That was weird. All right. Enter the fourth dimension. Okay. So, I guess it's kind of like teaching you... This is how you kind of, like, fast travel to space and... Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Slow down, buddy. Why can't I... Uh... Okay, cool. Because I noticed that there were, like, NPCs right outside. Man, I feel like I'm flying super fast. Holy sheesh. Like, it's uncontrollable. There is an NPC over there. I see you. I see you. Do you actually have something to say? Sire, if you step into the fourth dimension, your soul will remain dormant, while a new soul will control your body. The new carrier will lose all the knowledge of the skills you currently know. They will have to start from scratch. Flying, basic energy blasts, all of this will be gone. This is a huge risk. If the car carrier falls, so will you. Sire, you understand the danger. Yes. So I guess this is kind of like... Huh, interesting. Wow. Well, that was the tutorial leaps and bounds better uh, that tutorial was holy crap and just you can feel you can really feel how smooth the the new control scheme is just how how i don't know it feels like more precise and it just feels good in your hands you know and especially uh, the the new additions for flying mid-air um how that opens up a bunch of different new ways to play the game so that is 
so good. I, I'm, I spent a lot of time already playing this game, but I'm like, I'm ready to enjoy it again, even after almost a hundred hours. Unbelievable. All right, let's just see where, how, where we spawn in and then um, we'll stop the video here. All right, well, here we are, guys. So, whoa, that is new. That spiral area up top, that is new. But, um, yeah, I'm going to start playing and recording, and hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial, guys. I am excited to actually get back into this. Incredible. All right, well, take care, everybody. Have a good weekend. Happy Friday. And if you haven't subscribed, you know, and you like the videos, I would thoroughly, thoroughly appreciate it if you could, like, drop a sub and just uh, support the channel. But uh, until then, guys, um, thank you so much for all that you do and the support, and I will catch you later.